It's a tense moment as the lights go on. Ricardo on pole, Vettel alongside him, Hamilton and Raikkonen just behind. It's lights out and away we go. 227 meters down to turn one. Ricardo and Vettel getting very close together. Ricardo leads from Vettel, from Hamilton, from Raikkonen and Bottas. Losing power. Losing power was what oh, no. Danny Ricardo just said. Just keep it focused, mate. Keep it focused. Yeah, I got no power though. Pull the cap pedal. Negative, Daniel. Negative. Ricardo is going to have to put up with it. And we are on lap 30 of a Monaco Grand Prix where everything was going nice and smoothly for the pole sitter until about a lap and a half ago. Daniel, you're doing a really good job, mate. It's really good stuff. We know it's hard, but you're doing a great job. Sorry, mate. You're going to have to put up with this until the chequered flag. Sebastian Vettel, though, behind him, hasn't been able to overtake him very quickly and is now suffering on his tyres. Today in Monte Carlo, it's Redemption Day for Daniel Ricciardo. He wins the Monaco Grand Prix and he will celebrate that for a long, long time to come. Amazing. I don't know how you did that, Daniel. Incredible. Only tomorrow. Cheers, boys. Redemption. Two years in the making this, so I, I finally feel like the redemption is, has arrived. I think it was before halfway, I, I, I felt a loss of power and I thought the race was done. And uh, we got home just using six gears, so there was a few doubts that came in mid-race, but uh, we won Monaco, so <laughs> feels good. down at the Mercedes garage. Have, they weren't ready with the ultra soft tyres. That's what they want to be putting on, Martin. Not the soft tyres that they initially thought. Keep me saying now. Stay, stay up. In, 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 Hey, man. No, no, sorry, mate. Hey, just go, go. Lewis Hamilton leads the Grand Prix. With Kimi Raikkonen pitting, Hamilton has now taken over in the lead. Look at the extra grip Valtteri Bottas has got. Is he going to have a go? In Hamilton he is indeed, he's going steaming down the outside. What's Hamilton going to do about that? Defend for all his might, but Bottas switcheroo at the hairpin. Now it's wheel to wheel with Hamilton. No team orders at Mercedes. As towards the Mercedes-Benz grandstand they go. Hamilton by half a car length, now a car and a half has the lead still. Valtteri, it's James, please hold position. I'm sorry. Copy, James. Lewis Hamilton from German Grand Prix! You never knew what was going to happen after this, after the safety car. The other guys behind had the new, new tyres on, but I guess for those who don't know me, now you do. Ricardo is about to be lapped, and Hamilton is gaining now on Verstappen. He's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. He manages to get round Ricardo. Goes the long way round turn one. Verstappen just about holds on, but now Hamilton is much closer as they head towards turn two. Leader and second place almost wheel to wheel through that corner. Hamilton is trying absolutely everything. Verstappen is defending for his life, but he is still under threat. And this time Hamilton goes round the outside and turns. Four goes off the track in doing so. Verstappen keeps his place out in front. Hamilton is pitting. Now, this is interesting. So, Mercedes taking a bit of a gamble here with Lewis Hamilton. I mentioned the tyres. Would they be able to survive till the end of the race? They're going to put the medium on Lewis Hamilton as well. Send him back out into this race. Striking distance in six laps. Oh, dear. Can they take it? down at Red Bull. That gives us two laps where Hamilton yeah. might be able to go for it. Oh, here's our dead. Copy. And now with a bank to the crowd and a packed Budapest, Hamilton chases down the main straights, pulls out to the right-hand side and makes his way round the uh, long way and into the lead. Hamilton passes Verstappen. Mercedes strategy has got it right. The laps were like qualifying laps every lap and um, yeah, so my hat off to the team and uh, I, I think if Nicky was here today, he would take his hat off. It's lights out and away we go. Hamilton, I think, got a better start, but Bottas is just ahead at the moment. Bottas ahead of Hamilton, who's escaped trouble this time around. Unlike last year, Leclerc is ahead of the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Then comes Sebastian Vettel in fifth. 
Look how much more grip and confidence Hamilton's got. This is brilliant, brilliant stuff. The two Silver Arrows racing in the opening laps here, and Hamilton is just inches away from his teammate as they make the turn left-handed through uh, the loop and onto Aintree, and now the Wellington straight. And this time, Hamilton is that much closer to Valtteri Bottas, but this time, they're gonna have to go wheel to wheel through Brooklyn, and somehow Bottas is staying ahead, but he's got a bit too deep, and Hamilton through Loughfield. Can he take the lead of the British Grand Prix? They're ready to celebrate. Now they can start because Lewis Hamilton, the man they've come to cheer, leads the British Grand Prix. Bottas, though, is going to come back at him through Cobbs. Bottas retakes the lead. Wow! Lewis Hamilton crosses the line to complete his lap. He's at full pace as the Renault of Ricardo and then Hulkenberg goes through. And there is Lewis Hamilton. And they have just got out ahead down at Ferrari. But Hamilton against the hard compound tyre of Leclerc might just have an advantage on this lap. Hamilton now getting a really good slipstream from behind two cars down that back straight. Leclerc to the Parabolica wants to overtake the Renault of Nico Hülkenberg. That is not the easiest thing to do on the inside of the Parabolica. Hülkenberg allows it to go past. Now Lewis Hamilton's getting a slipstream from behind the Renault and behind the Ferrari as well. But Leclerc has got DRS again because he went through the detection zone behind the Renault. Hamilton now pulls out to have a go at Leclerc. Leclerc stays ahead by about a car length and a half. This is brilliant racing. Very smart positioning of his car there from Charles Leclerc. He did, as you say, get some DRS. He's going for it again, Lewis Hamilton. Got a great exit out of the chicane. Round the curve, a grande they go. Is it a grande move from Lewis Hamilton towards the Della Roggia chicane? Leclerc's on the inside. Hamilton goes onto the gravel and has to take to the escape road. And you can hear the cheers from Monza all the way back to Stevenage. The Ferrari fans loved it. Leclerc locks up, goes through the chicane. Hamilton now is right on the rear wing of that Ferrari. And once again, to the Curva Grande we go. And Hamilton is going to have a go. Which way this time? Wanted to go round the outside. Has to switch to the inside. Leclerc is making it very difficult indeed by zigzagging from one side to the other of the track. And Hamilton can't force his way past. And that's some vibrations as well, Leclerc now. A little bit naughty there. Leclerc has maintained the lead by scampering across there, leaving bits of curb in his wake. After putting the pressure on Charles Leclerc to make mistakes, has now made one himself. Charles Leclerc has coped brilliantly. He won in Spa, he wins in Monza. You've done it. Sub two seconds, stop for Max Verstappen who then has to stop as the Williams of Kubica comes out of his pit box. That has held up Verstappen, the crew did their best for him, but that Williams coming out of the wrong time for Verstappen has cost him the advantage over Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton, neat move there on Leclerc. If he can make that stick through Magulio, and he does. Verstappen on the inside tries to get past as well. And now the gloves are really going to come off here because after the opening spars and jabs, is Verstappen poised to land a knockout blow on Lewis Hamilton? Yeah, great uh, move there. Lewis needed to get that done. It's just not working out for Ferrari. At here all. goes Verstappen. Lewis tries to cover him off. Verstappen through at turn one. And he has made amends for getting held up in the pit lane at the earliest available opportunity. That was brilliant from Max Verstappen. Box opposite Verstappen. So if Verstappen comes in, you stay out. And if Verstappen stays out, you come in. Albon is going right at Sebastian Vettel here as Max Verstappen over the hill comes wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton round the outside of turn one he goes. Verstappen's got the restart sorted. That was fantastic. Magic today. Absolutely bossed it. Fantastic. <laughs> we did it as a team, guys. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a race. Oh, I loved it. 
He's looking in his wing mirrors to see what's happening at the rear. It's Max Verstappen coming his way. Hamilton moves to the middle of the track, forces Verstappen wider at turn one and positions that Mercedes beautifully. But is that only temporary from Lewis Hamilton? Can he now hold Max Verstappen up as they head towards turn four? Hamilton's going to force Verstappen the long way round. By the time they get to the corner, he's about a third of a car in front. By the time they get out of the corner, he's a whole car in front. So we're taking the outside of the track. I was outside of the track limit when I passed Lewis, so they told me to give the position back. OK, for the moment, let it Lewis through, let Lewis through. I gave the position back and then I tried again, but I didn't have the tyres anymore. Of course, I had newer tyres, but as soon as you get within one and a half seconds, they also degrade very quickly and it's super hard to follow with these cars. And he might not get DRS doesn't. down the main straight. And that will be manna from heaven for the Mercedes team and for Lewis Hamilton. I guess in my mind I was thinking, okay, if I can just hold on to these tires, make no mistakes, maybe I would just keep them at, at arm's length. It was so tough. Has Verstappen lost his chance now? It's going to be very difficult from here. He's got to follow him through 12 and 13. Then there's just one breaking point left. Hamilton looks like he's just done enough. Extraordinary. He has been put under immense pressure by Max Verstappen and Red Bull here tonight. Sir Lewis Hamilton, as he is now, crosses the line and wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Max Verstappen and Red Bull come home to take second place. The fireworks are going off around the Bahrain International Circuit. Get in there, Lewis. What a job, mate. What a race. Amazing. As Verstappen goes down the inside once again, he's wheel to wheel with Charles Leclerc and Verstappen comes out still alongside that Ferrari. He's got down DRS. towards turn four, Verstappen's got DRS once again. He's so close, he's wheel to wheel once again, but it is a very tricky part of the track to overtake if you're not ahead going into the braking zone. And fair play, bravo Charles Leclerc, that was great defending. Which way is Verstappen going to go here? DRS wide open, gaining on the Ferrari, switches early Verstappen, late braking, Leclerc this time might just have to give way as he goes off the track and when he comes back on, Max Verstappen has just sent Holland into raptures. He leads the Austrian Grand Prix. What a battle this has been. This is how Verstappen did it. How clean was that, Paul? They bang wheels. I think he positioned himself perfectly. He was entitled to the corner. He was alongside him with all four wheels. I hope they don't get a penalty for that. I really don't. It, it, was, it was cracking racing. It got a little bit cosy, a little bit close during the overtake of Sharp. What's your point of view on that? It's heart racing, otherwise we have to stay home. Safety car is in. We can get racing again. Hamilton pulls out from the slipstream of Kimi Raikkonen. Raikkonen is not allowed to go fast and slow down again. He's gone though, he's bolted. But Hamilton in a great position for a slipstream down the pit straight. Raikkonen though with a good exit. Hamilton makes a move on Raikkonen, gives him a little nudge towards the right hand side. Hamilton moves into the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. And here comes Kimi Raikkonen, back for round two. Raikkonen regains the lead of the Italian Grand Prix and Monza goes wild. So here comes Valtteri Bottas with Kimi Raikkonen right behind him. Lewis Hamilton is edging his way down the pit lane at the moment. Will come out then behind Kimi Raikkonen as he has been for most of this race. Hamilton's closer this time around. Only half a second as they cross the line. Hamilton moves out and has to go round the outside with Kimi Raikkonen. Can he take the lead of the Italian Grand Prix? Yes, he can. Kimi Raikkonen's staunch defence of his Italian Grand Prix lead comes to an end on lap 45. And Lewis Hamilton, the championship leader, takes over the lead of this crazy race at Monza. Can he hold it now to the chequered flag? The championship leader has come to Monza and he is going to win once more as Hamilton takes the chequered flag and the Italian Grand Prix victory. Kimi Raikkonen comes home second. Get in there, Lewis. You are the man. You are the man. You knocked that out of the park today, mate. Out the park. comes Nico Rosberg into turn one for the lead this. Rosberg against Hamilton. Hamilton fights back. Rosberg has to concede the lead within a matter of metres. They got so close to touching, which would have uh, punctured Lewis's left rear and taken the wing off. It was a little bit aggressive from Lewis.
Hamilton, Rosberg, part two, and he's going to try out the inside again, Rosberg, because he's got DRS, and this time Lewis Hamilton locks up as well as Nico Rosberg. Now, does that give Rosberg the chance to keep hold of the lead? Looks to me like it does. As they move up the hill now, Hamilton just couldn't get the traction to fight right back, but he's now going to get the slipstream, and towards turn four we go. Towards the outside of the track, Hamilton is pushed. Rosberg makes his move around that right-hander. Hamilton now trying to fight back down the hill. This is where Rosberg went off on the first lap. This is where Hamilton... Hamilton on lap 19 regains the lead back again. Whoa! Into the first turn we go. Is this the lead now for Rosberg? Hamilton manages to stay ahead. There's no team orders so going Ros on a Mercedes. Rosberg will be way, way quicker out of turn two. He could get on the throttle, but Hamilton's covered the inside line. And those stickier tyres for Rosberg giving him better traction too. Will will he leave him any space? He's Absolutely gone off the not. track. He's gone completely off the track, Nico Rosberg, but he's certainly not given up yet. He now has to as Hamilton slots back into the lead again. Gaining all the time, a little bit too far back, but he's going to go for it down the he inside. It, has he outbraked himself? Yes, he has. Lewis Hamilton comes back into the lead once more. Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg have just rounded the final turn, and Mercedes are going to make it back to back one twos. It's Lewis Hamilton who once again wins the Grand Prix. Hamilton triumphs in Bahrain. Fantastic job this weekend, guys. We didn't really have the pace on this side of the garage, but still held on to it. Let's work on that. Thanks. Fantastic job, Lewis. Fantastic and a really great racing. Well done, well done. Fantastic job, Nico. And best of all, great racing. Very well done. And then someone should tell me that the sport is boring. One thing racing drivers like is to go wheel to wheel and to show exactly what they can do and, and there is no disguising the joy in Hamilton and Rosberg for the way that they went racing this afternoon.